Hello, today we'll be going over problem A, Phoenix and Balance of Code Forces round number 638, division 2. So the problem statement is that Phoenix has n coins with the weights 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, all the way up to 2 to the power n. And what he basically wants to do here is he wants to split the weights or the coins into two groups. And what he wants is the minimal difference of the weights between the two groups. So in order to solve this problem, we can use the fact that 2 to the power n will always be greater than 2 to the power n minus 1, plus 2 to the power n minus 2, plus 2 to the power n minus 3, all the way up to 2 to the power 1. And the way we can prove this is by taking an example. Let's say two to let's say we have 2 to the power 4, and let's just set it equal to 2 to the power 3, plus 2 to the power 2, plus 2 to the power 1. And in order for even this to be true, just for it to be equal, what we need is... For the right-hand side, to be 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. Because we know that 2 to the power of 4 is just 2 to the power of 3 times 2. We have 1 to the power of 3 here. So we know that this must also be equal to a 2 to the power of 3. And then we can continue the cycle to see that in order for this to be a 2 to the power of 2, we have another 2 to the power of 2 here. This must also be a 2 to the power of 2. So we set this equal to 2 to the power of 2. But if we look at this section here, we see that 2 to the power of 1 is unequal to 2 to the power of 2. And this solution actually works for all other ones. Take 2 to the power of 5, for example. If we continue this, then we can just continue the exact same thing we did and find that 2 to the power 1 is unequal to 2 to the power 2. Therefore, this stands true. Now let's move on to how we're actually going to solve this problem. So in order to solve the problem, what we have discovered is that with our weights, what we want to do for the first group, or for both the groups, is that we want to pair the largest with the smallest weights. Because we already know that 2 to the power n is going to be the largest no matter what. So we pair it with all of the smaller weights. And then from there, we also want to pair all the middle weights as a separate group. So therefore, we have the largest minus the middle weights. So this is how we want our pairings to work. And to it, over here, what we're actually doing is that we have a global array over here called R of size 30. And in that array, what we're basically doing is that we start out with 2, the next element will be 2 to the power 2, and 2 to the power 3. So basically, we're just storing all of the powers of 2 in this up till 2 to the power 30. And the reason why it's up to 2 to the power 30 is because in the problem, the restrictions go all the way up to 2 to the power 30. So then over here, we're going to, for each test case, we're going to input the number n, which is the amount of weights that are going to be in there. And then we're going to in see out min-max of nn and middle of nn. And these are basically two functions. What min-max does is that it takes the largest element, which we discovered as 2 to the power n, and pairs it with 2 to the power 1, plus 2 to the power 2, plus 2 to the power 3, all of the smaller elements in the array, or in the set of weights, which we have. So what we have is our integer total, which will keep track of the total weight for this. And then over here we have two checks, if n is greater than or equal to 4 or if it's not. Basically what this means is that if n is equal to 2, there will only be two elements, so each group will have one element. And if that is the case, it'll just be the first element minus the second element. So in that case, we just return one of the elements. If it is greater than or equal to 4, keep in mind n is always even, then that means that there will be two or more elements in each group. So therefore, over here, what we are doing is that we are taking the bottom half. Keep in mind that it is not exactly the bottom half. We're actually taking away one from it. So n over 2 minus 1 elements because we're going to input the largest one, which is already one element. And then we're going to put the bottom half minus 1 elements into the total. So this is basically pairing the largest with all the least elements. And then we are going to return total. The next one is the one that pairs all the middle ones, all the middle elements together. So we start out with 
all of the middle elements and just add them together. Again, we're checking if n is greater than or equal to 4. If it is not, then we'll just return one element. If it is, then we're going to sum up all of the middle elements over here. And then at the end, we're going to return it as well. So what we're doing is that we're just printing out the two subtraction of the two functions. 